If you would like to take content from old Schoology courses that have been archived and bring that content over to your current courses, you're going to follow these few steps. Once you've logged into Schoology, you're going to go ahead and click on Courses, and then in the upper right hand side, you're going to click My Courses. This brings you to a detailed list of all of the courses that are currently active, and if you want to access courses from a previous grading period or a previous school year, you're going to click on Archived. Any courses that are in a grading period that has already passed and ended will be put into Archived. So now what you're going to do is look for the course where you want to pull some content. Let's say, for example, I want to take some content from my Spanish 7 course from last year and bring it into my current course. I'm going to go ahead and click on the section name listed below the title of the course. And this will bring me directly to my old course from the previous year. Then what I'm going to do is decide what I want to bring over to my new course. And all you need to do is simply click on the wheel next to the folder or the specific item, if there's an item in a folder that you just want to bring over. And you will always have this option that says Copy to Courses. So when I click Copy to Courses, this gives me a listing of all of my current courses, and I can select my course or courses. You can bring it over to more than one at the same time. And I'm going to click on it, and you can see here it prompts you to put it in a folder if you want to put it in an existing folder you can do so if not and you just want it on its own outside you can just leave it on none and then I'm going to click copy folder so you're going to see here it's go it's going to confirm that I'm putting it in this course you will also notice something here that says advanced setting so some of the items in this folder here are discussions and assignments and discussions and assignments tend to have due dates and possibly grading categories associated with them. That information does not copy over to your new course. Obviously you wouldn't want old due dates on your new items anyway. So you can make those changes right now by going to these advanced settings, or you can do so later by going over to your current course and adjusting them there. Just so you can see the options, this is an assignment, and if I click on the advanced options, you can see here there's no due date associated with, there's no category associated with this, um, and I also have some options down here to change what grading period this is associated with, etc. Again, you don't have to do this right this second, but just know that it's available. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go to Copy Folder, and now what it's doing is it's taking a copy of that folder, and it's now putting it into my current course. So I've now toggled over to my current course, and if I scroll down, you can see the folder that I copied from my archived course is here. When you do copy things over, if you already have existing content in your new course, it may not put it in the order that you want. So what you can do is drag and drop folders and put them in the order that you want. So if I grab this title and I drag it and I just drop it, you can see I get this gray box above the September. That means this is where this folder is going to go and I drop it and I now have it. Now again, we didn't change any of the due dates and categories in any of the items that are actually in this folder. So when you are ready to use this, you're going to have to do that. Otherwise, I suggest you unpublish any items that you haven't made adjustments to yet. So if I click on Edit next to this particular assignment, I'm going to get some of the same features we saw on the previous page here, but you can see I need to select a due date, I need to select a um, category, and I also need to, I have some other options down here as well. If you are um, going to be grading this, you can assign a point value as well, and then you can save changes. So any assignments, discussions, or anything like that, you will have to just make those minor adjustments. Other things that don't carry over when you are copying a folder is if you had assignments and you use the OneDrive assignment button where you attach a document from your OneDrive and it generates a copy for all of your students, that will need to be reattached. That will not uh, carry over. Um, and that same goes for Google Document Assignment tab. Um, any regular attachments that you attach regularly with just something from your OneDrive without using that assignment feature, those will work. Just keep in mind that OneDrive assignment feature you do have to reattach. So I hope this video was helpful. If you would like to know how to bring over more content all at once, 
watch my video on how to copy an entire course to your Schoology resources and then bring that over into your new course.